Alright, here's a video of my uh, homemade wood boiler. I've uh, been working at it at work. Take home. There's a six foot stepler next to it. Give you kind of an idea how tall it is. Probably about eight foot up there at that stack. Front view, there's a door. There's a side view. That is a 300 gallon gas tank on the inside there with a little bit of extra added on top there was a pipe I cut in half probably like an 18 inch round a little more capacity for water that tank's about 8 inch thick here's the door, the door is 22 by 22 this is one of the hinges I made, about 11 inches long here it's a bolt welded coming up through the bottom a half inch plate, it's two and a half inches this way and five inches long there's a shot of the bolts threaded, this bottom thing is threaded, it's a piece of angle here it's threaded in to make this door adjustable so you can adjust in or out, depends on the warps a little or the seal shrinks and down here same thing this is a quarter inch plate here with a inch and a quarter inch lip on it this is only eighth inch thick here Okay, here's the door. It's a cam lock style door. See there? Okay, this measures about seven, about five inches tall, half inch thick. It's got two bolts here. And this is threaded back here to make this adjustable here. This is the seal again. Okay, this is a piece of heavy angle here. Welded to this here. All right, this here door has got a one inch rod here. It's about seven inches long. This is about four inches long. They're welded together here underneath. This is about eight inch long handle. Just a one inch by half inch thick. It's about nine inches long. All right, okay. Lift up on it, comes out. Pulls out like that. Comes down. Nice, okay. Now here, you're looking at about four and a half inches from the front here to here. This is about three sixteenths here. This is quarter. This whole thing is filled with ceramic insulation. I think it's good like 2,000 degrees. There's your seal. And there's that. There you go. Okay. This here is where the blower the air will come in here. I've added a couple baffles to kind of restrict the airflow a little bit. Plus, keep hopefully the smoke from getting in there. Okay. Push out of the hinges. Okay. This here, this door, I made it 8 inches. This is quarter inch plate here. I wish I had made it 10, maybe even 12 from here out to here and I'll show you why there's insulation behind here and I've only got about an inch and a half because of the I had to allow room for this here and the hinges so if I could have got a little more insulation on it would have been nice okay inside here let me show you this it'll take a 32 inch log without any problem that's even to the stack see this tank sits down there a little bit. It's about an inch off the bottom of the tank that's on the outside. This is a 120 gallon propane tank, about a quarter inch thick. That is a six inch by quarter inch thick, 55 inches long pipe there in the back. It's about an inch off the bottom and uh, the idea of that is, is to force that smoke to keep its heat up in here and since this is forced air it's going to go out that hole regardless. A lot of times you see them cut off close to the top you lose a lot of heat that way. Um, maybe there's a little concern about a plug-in, but if I have any issues, I can cut off a little bit. But just got to be mindful and keep it clear. Okay, more on the door here. Show you that again. 
Okay, this cam's locked and seals nice and tight. All right, this is the door. Inside here houses a blower motor and a solenoid valve, electrically operated. It just comes off like that. Okay. As you can see here is a plate of steel on top of a huge blower motor, which is a little larger than I needed, but it's what I had. There's a hinge here, attaches here to here. When it calls for air, this lifts up. About an eighth inch of a gap right now. I can adjust this all right here. Threaded rod. The idea behind this is uh calls for air obviously and if we lose any power or anything happens it shuts right down I won't destroy anything okay this is all controlled from here this uh, there's an aquastat inside here there you go good shot of that there's a plug here added just in case I need something um, this is a kill switch for all the power out here I do have a light out here this is like a 12 by 12 box by about four inches deep I got it recessed inside, sealed it up. Okay, that's pretty much about all on the front, other than I do have a gauge here. Make sure it coincides with the Aquastat. This here is a fill check valve. So if I, uh, this is open, you close this one. If I had water in here, you'd see this thing shoot right up to wherever. I want to keep the level at. I can check my level of my water that way, make sure it's where I want to eat it. And then when you're done, just drain it out. Okay. On the back side here, you will see I've welded in some one inch couplers threaded. These will be like supplies or returns. I'm probably going to run on my supply of one of these bottom ones. And I have one more in the front, which will probably be my return. Right here. It's kind of help that water circulate through here. I didn't put any baffles inside or anything. Down here at the bottom is a two inch pipe, which I'll probably put like just a one inch ball valve just in case I need to drain it. Oh yeah, and there's a, this one here, my Aquastat will plug into. Tell me what temperature is my water. Pretty simple cradle type frame. Four inch tubing here or three and a half. Or three. Supports it. Just kind of like a cradle. Alright, and you can see I've got it all framed in. The sides are off right now. There is like a set of skis underneath there to slide around. Just going to get it home. I can get it to where I need it. I plan on putting 12 inches of insulation around this and probably more on top up in here. This here is a 2 inch piece of pipe that just goes into the water jacket, not the firebox. And I will show you the roof not quite finished yet. I'm still working on it. So I got to seal all these up here. Okay, this two inch cap here it is a quarter inch piece of copper with a little bit of a bend in it, about 10 inches long. Okay, you can see it, so you drill a hole in this PVC, flare that copper out, and it just sits in there. You don't want to fall through. Catches your condensation, drips back down inside. There's my stack, got it sealed up, it's insulated, more of that ceramic insulation. This is going to be part one. I'm going to make a part two when I get it home, get it installed. I'm sure I forgot a few things I'd like to tell you, but that's pretty much it.